Hola, soy Dora. Can you help me find Swiper? <laughs> okay, okay, fine. I know, I'm not Dora, but I do look like Dora in this wig. It's really funny. And I can't help you to find Swiper, but what I can help you find are some great alternatives to the Hermes Kelly bag. Let me confess, I do have a little bit of OCD. I have completion issues. I need closure. And I could not have given you a video of five great alternatives to the Hermes Birkin without doing justice to its sister, the Gracious Kelly. When I think of the Hermes Kelly bag, I think of someone going to brunch with their friends, going on a fancy date, um, going out to do errands. It's just a very versatile bag. It's also very feminine, classic, elegant. It's a little bit more quiet luxury than the Birkin because it's not as distinctive in features, but it still gives off that air of graciousness and royalty. And the Hermes Kelly was actually named after a princess, Princess Grace Kelly, who was also a very famous um, Hollywood actress. She used the what was then known as the Hermes Sac de Peluches or Pages? Pages? I don't remember how to put it up on the screen. But she used it to hide her baby bump while she was pregnant. And she had so many of them. She loved them so much that Hermes decided to honor her and her memory by naming the bag after her. And that's why we have the Hermes Kelly. And that's why I call it the Gracious Kelly. From what I can tell, the Hermes Kelly bag seemed to gain quite a lot of popularity during 2019, 2020, 2021, especially because it seemed to be a little bit more accessible than the Hermes Birkin. It's still a prestigious quota bag, but more and more people were getting Kellys versus Birkins. And the bag was a little bit more affordable, full price from boutique, it's around eight to $12,000 greater on the secondhand market like the Birkin and it had more versatility of wear than the Birkin according to people who had the bag and reviewed the bag because of how it looked it appealed to a younger audience who weren't necessarily going to carry around a Birkin that looked very elegant formal uh, professional um, at the very least semi-casual so a lot of people were getting their Hermes Kellys together, especially the Mini Kelly, super popular. People were just loving it, eating it up. However, those who owned the Hermes Kelly in whatever size had a few things in common that they had to say about the bag in terms of what they didn't like. A lot of people complained about the price, especially for the mini size. It's not very functional. It doesn't hold a lot. A lot of people did not like the closure. It seemed to be very hard to get into and out of an Hermes Kelly bag. And of course, there are those who don't want to play the Hermes games of spending thousands of dollars on other items just to be offered something that you might not even be able to dictate what it looks like. And on top of that, people do not want to spend eight, nine, ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 on a bag that's impractical. But you might still want the look. You might want the look for less or you might want something very similar but unique or individual to you. Here they are. These are some great alternatives to the Hermes Kelly handbag. I'm going to start off with my favorite bag on this list from one of my absolute favorite designers. This is the Off-White Jitney 2.8 top handle bag. Now I love Off-White as a brand because I think Virgil Abloh did a fantastic job at creating a sub niche in fashion that just encompasses every <laughs> fashion aesthetic that you could possibly think of. And you can see that in every piece. Whenever you look at um, off-white items, you see classic timeless silhouettes. You see fun items. There is creativity abounding. There is some essence of futurism. These items are always very functional, very versatile, very wearable pieces. And I love that about it. And you can see in this bag, that I think is a great alternative to the Hermes Kelly that this simplistic, minimalist, timeless silhouette is a very classic. It's giving femininity with the top handle. And the thing I love the most about this bag is the subtlety of just the logo is there. If you know Off-White, you know this is an Off-White logo, but it's also just very subtle. The interior of the bag is gorgeous, comes in several sizes, different colors. I like this size of 2.8 specifically, but this is just a gorgeous bag, especially in um, the off-white color. <laughs> I also love it in the black, but this bag is beautiful. It's just 
for less than $2,000, this is definitely a hit and a steal for me. I would go with this over an actual Kelly. It's just mwah, chef's kiss. <laughs> and P.S. Off-White is actually an Italian brand. <laughs> Next up is the Givenchy Antigona, and this is actually one of my first loves in designer fashion. It was one of my first pins on Pinterest. It's just a very, very pretty bag. Every time I go into one of those higher-end um, department stores, I streamline to the Givenchy section, and I take up this bag, and I look it over and over and over because it's such a beautiful piece. I do love it in its most classic form. It has been updated, but I still love the classic form. I do also like it in a monogram. I think they do the monogram version very well. It doesn't cheapen the look of the bag. It's just so beautiful. It does come with a detachable strap. It also has a top handle, and I think it's a great alternative to the Kelly because it does offer some versatility not just with the sizing but you can see someone wear this bag to work you could wear it out um for brunch it's very elegant what i absolutely love about this bag even in the mini size is just how much it can fit i've seen people put multiple mobile devices agenda glasses cases bottles of water <laughs> umbrella <laughs> so many things in the jumanji antigona mini and walk around it's very structured so it, it, it keeps its shape and if you're like me and need your accessories to function this would be a perfect pick the price range is anywhere from 1950 to say maximum three thousand dollars depending on the size and the materials but it's a pretty decent bag very quiet luxury great alternative to the kelly come a little closer i have something to tell you if you subscribe to my channel and watch all of my videos, you'll discover that there will never be a video in which I speak about handbags and I'm giving you options and there is no YSL bag. If you are planning to make your first designer handbag purchase, YSL is a place to go. I actually have an entire article on my website, I will link it below, where I speak about why you should look into YSL to make your first handbag purchase. And I think Miss Cassandra the YSL Cassandra top handle bag would have dethroned the Hermes Kelly back in the day in the 1950s when it started to get very popular. The Cassandra bag, had it existed then, would have become the Hermes Kelly. Miss Grace Kelly would have used this bag to hide her cute baby bump. That's because the Cassandra bag is so feminine, it's so elegant. As you can see, the Cassandra bag is very similar to the Hermes in terms of its kind of triangular type shape, but it's unique in the lock feature. Pretty cool if you think about it. And even though it looks like this, it looks a little complicated, it's actually much easier to get into and out of the Cassandra bag than an actual Kelly. I also think that maybe YSL did fashion this bag after the Kelly, but they did a much better job because this is so beautiful. Love me some YSL. Very versatile piece. I could see this in many different settings, many different occasions. Price point, of course, is amazing. They do have some as much as $5,200, but those are bigger sizes and, you know, more exquisite materials. But I would definitely choose the Cassandra bag over a Kelly bag any day. The only set of people I really see purchasing handbags from this brand are really those people who already love the brand. But I think Valentino actually is doing a great job. They're stepping up their handbag game. And this Valentino V Sling logo top handle bag is a great, great alternative to the Kelly bag. It looks like the Kelly, it's shaped like the Kelly, but it's a little bit more bold in statement than the Kelly because of the V logo. But what I absolutely love about these bags are the colors. Yes, I agree. The Kelly does come in quite a lot of nice colors. It looks very good in bold and pastel colors, but Valentino really does well with colors in anything, which is why we have <laughs> Valentino Pink Raining Supreme this year. But at $3,200 to $6,000, depending on the size and the materials, Valentino is giving a beautiful, beautiful alternative to the Kelly. There are some of them that I see that are bedazzled to the gods and very cool, very cool bag. This is definitely one that would suit someone who wants to have something that's just different, but still on trend. <laughs> And I have to put this one on the list for all those people who have zero intention of spending over $1,000 on 
any fashion item, including a bag, let me tell you something. For every popular, sought-after, high-end, expensive, luxury designer item, there is a contemporary version of that item that is more affordable and just as good. And Coach does very well when it comes to handbags and leathers, and this Sammy top handle bag is a great, great alternative to the Hermes Kelly. At $550, you're getting a great functional bag awesome colors. It looks just like the Kelly, to be honest. Much easier to get into, obviously. Also subtle, the big C is there, but nobody can really tell what the C stands for if they don't really know. They're all fancy pantsy. They also put protective feet on this bag. Great space inside as well. Comes with detachable straps. Pretty good option. I'd go for it. The Louis Vuitton Capucines bag has been one that they've been pushing to be an icon and a classic for the house even though I don't think that's how icons and classics are made. <laughs> but if you love this bag, you love this bag. The people I see with this bag, I think they were really trying to go for the Kelly aesthetic and Louis Vuitton did very well in that department. It's a very feminine bag, very beautiful piece. I love the colors. I love the combinations. It also has a, a detachable strap. Um, it's a little bit more on the pricier side. I've seen Capucines go as much as like close to $9,000. Um, depending on the exotic um, leathers and so forth that go with them. I like that it has the option to show the Louis Vuitton logo or to be a little bit more quiet luxury by just placing the flap over and showing the LaFleur. If you were a Louis lover and you've been eyeing this bag and you're willing to fork out the $5,000 plus dollars that this bag currently retails for, I think it would be a great choice. Finally, this bag I think is a dupe doo doo doop of the Hermes Kelly, but with a designer label. This is the Gucci Force Bit top handle bag. Specifically, this one is in the mini size. It does come in a size that's a little bit larger than this. I first saw this in store recently, and I there was just something about it that just <laughs> kept it on my mind. And I came home, I was looking through the website, and I saw it. And as I was putting this video together, it hit me. This actually looks like the Hermes Kelly. I don't know for sure, but I think that's what Gucci may be going for. But something about it just doesn't give classic timeless. It's giving more trendy. So even though they did all the things that look very similar to the Kelly, it just looks trendy. It looks like a popular hip chic kind of bag. It channels a Kelly in the way of the shape of the bag, its subtlety. There isn't a big Gigi or Marmont um, logo on it. It uses a horse bit instead, and you'd have to know the history of Gucci to know that the horse bit is synonymous with Gucci. It also has the top handle detachable strap. It does come in monogram though, which I think is like an Ophidia type monogram, which I think is pretty decent. It comes in a lot of classic colors like black and blue and brown, but I really actually prefer this pastel green color that I saw on the website. Very, very pretty, very gorgeous. I don't know. I don't think this will be an icon or a classic. I don't think it's the best alternative to the Kelly bag, but I think it is still a fun piece, especially for somebody who is very trendy. I think it is a great seasonal piece to have that you can put in your collection. Let me know in the comments below, were you or are you fawning over the Hermes Kelly? Are you on a wait list? Are you working your way up to getting a Kelly bag? Do you own one? Do you love it? Do you hate it? What about these bags that I've presented to you? Are you interested? Do you own them? Do you love them? And do you have any other alternatives to the Hermes Kelly that you want to share with us? Until my next video, stay fashionably well and in good health.